What's up everybody? Tony here from the Ahaka Cosplay staff. Here to welcome you to the interview portion of our YouTube page. All right, we've got Jim and Zach, they're about to come up and they're going to do some random interviews with some attendees around the conventions. All right, I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, how's it going man? How are you? I'm doing great. Good. Uh, is this your first year at Ohio or? Uh, no, I've actually been coming since freshman year in high school, so about seven years now. Oh god, I was going to be worried if you said like one year. <laughs> uh, so, impressive for one. Tell us about your character. Uh, I'm Eddie Gordo from uh, Tekken 3. Pretty old game. It was the first game I ever played on PlayStation with my big brother, so he's kind of like my favorite character. It's kind of hard to find cosplays that actually fit my natural look, so it's really nice to have a character that's so well known, but also fits my build. I was actually going to ask about that, because I mean, based on like with your hair and your build, like why you didn't do Christy? It's the same, it's the same moveset basically, yeah, three to four slippery kicks. Well, if I did Christy, then my little sister would be very upset with me, because I'd be wearing her outfit and it'd be very stretched. <laughs> Well, you don't have to tell her. Yeah. Well, I think she would know. <laughs> okay, guys, we're here with the uh, Destiny cosplay group. Um, you guys like to tell us a little bit about yourselves and why you decided Destiny as you wanted to do this week. So we're going to start with uh, the winner here, right? Yeah, so tell us about this. Well, uh, Destiny was a game we all been looking forward to for about a year, year and a half now. Started playing it, loved it, and these two guys were like, hey, we're going to build these cosplays. Sorry for the swearing. We're gonna build this cosplay, so then they suckered me into it. Fun, fun yeah. cosplay. And then after they suckered me into it, I, you know, we put a couple hundred hours a piece into it. Decided to make it. So then this guy over here, the warlock, also known as Nimscraft, he's a great guy. Started to teach me how to make some of this stuff. I got into it. I started liking it. I went all out and I built a whole armor set. All right. So now, if you some of that might have been muffled. So if you didn't understand, he asked for a cheeseburger, some fries, and a large coke. Don't forget the frosty. Yes, and the frosty, which he handcrafted. Mm. All right. So, so why Destiny? And uh, when the concept design and concept art was coming out for it, we saw each one of them and we're like, we've got to cosplay this. Um, I, like for myself, I, I looked at different armor designs and I, I was like, I want to do armor this year for cosplay. I saw uh, Conway doing it with Warbla and just everybody else doing it. And finally I was like, well, I'm not going to do Warbla first. I'll do EVA foam. Nice. This is my first ever build. Um, it was a lot of pain and sweat, but we made it through it, and uh, yeah, I'm happy with the outcome right now. Now, did you each work on your costumes individually, or did you work together? Uh, we worked together. He's, oh, he's the one that did leather work for all of us. Mm -hmm. uh, he's also the one that did all of our belts. Ah. Uh, I'm, I'm the one that did the paper craft for all, each one of the helmets. So, so we're going to be doing another OhioCon cosplay interview. And here we are with one of our individuals. How's, uh, how's your weekend been so far? It's been pretty good, actually. Um, pretty busy, but good. Yeah? Yeah. Busy, busy good? Busy bad? Busy good. Busy good? Awesome. Yeah. Are yeah, you going to be cosplaying this weekend? Um, I could be wearing Lolita this weekend, but I'm not going to be cosplaying this weekend. Right, and so this is, this is like what you're wearing now. Is this an original design or is this something? Uh, no, this is a dress from Atelier Perot. Okay. So it's a uh, Japanese brand. And I could be wearing another dress of theirs tomorrow. Okay. Very so, cool. So you're really into the whole EGL thing? I'm, I'm fairly into it, yes. Okay. It's, it's very cute. I love it. <laughs> Are you going to any like group meetups for it this weekend, or are you no. just kind of doing your own thing? I'm just gonna be here helping my friend out this weekend, and that's gonna be my my whole entire drive. So work in the booth, basically. Work in the booth, work in the artist alley, and try to meet a bunch of people. Awesome. Yeah. So how long have you been cosplaying? Cos not cosplaying right now, Jim. Well, I, I mean, I've been cosplaying for a time, like eight or nine years now. I'm sorry, you've been cosplaying for a, 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 a how long, PG, she said? Eight or nine years. I was just trying to get you to say it again without swearing. Oh, eight or nine years of cosplay. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh. And now, being nine years old, yeah. you've been cosplaying your entire life. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yes. Uh, from <laughs> diaper to bottle, I have been cosplaying and when I was Prenatal. Yeah, prenatal. <laughs> well, still my mom else cosplaying. I was cosplaying. She just like, drew on her own. This is what she's wearing. Yeah. Wait, uh, prenatal Naruto? <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh. I'm a Narunadal. I'm, I'm actually currently playing Chibiusa in my prenatal oh, X-rays. You guys don't understand how serious this yeah, is. Yeah, it's a very serious business. It goes deep. It goes deep. Very oh. neat. So, uh, why don't you guys give us a little bit of information about all of your costumes, especially yours. Yours is very, very interesting. <laughs> um, well, we're from Digimon Tamers. Uh, Sukuyamon and Beelzemon. Um, mine was a dream costume. I actually completed this in 2013. And she's gone through a, a revamp this past weekend, so I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I've made two helmets. <laughs> After this convention, we're going to go home and make another helmet. <laughs> Do you just really like making helmets? Or? Uh, it's to practice, Okay. because I really want to have a sturdy, smooth look, and so I, I know the base of this one, so if I can learn to make this one really nice, I can just continue to improve on that. Um, we had a malfunction with my gauntlets, so this is actually a Darth Vader. I was gonna say, so, it looks like a Darth Vader glove. It mat uh, fabric matches really well. It I'm does. Like, okay, and this is just a Nerf gun. And I can still use it. Was that water that shot out of it? No, it was actually not filled just yet. But yet. 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 So <laughs> I swear to God, I saw something bad. <laughs> 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 now, what makes that a dream costume? What do you love about that character? Um, I grew up watching Digimon, so it's like a little sentimentality. I never really had a Digimon that was my favorite until season three, and that was Renamon. And when Renamon bio merged with Rika, and I saw Sukuyamon, and Rika and Renamon's bond is just. So I'm like, this is like little kid me right now is like super excited. The only other character I get super emotional about, aside from Renamon, is Sailor Moon when it comes to that. So she was Very a dream emotional. costume. Tearing up? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Yosemite was my boyfriend. <laughs> oh. Did he know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Was it like a poster? Or just no, see, I, I never I... could never have any of any of the Beelzemon clothes. I had Terramon because it was easy to find, but you couldn't find Beelzemon, so I'm like, one day I will be Beelzemon and I will be someone else's boyfriend. I fulfilled a Pinkie Pie's dream of having a Beelzemon boyfriend. You know what? Good for you. <laughs> so are you guys competing this weekend? Or are you guys just here to hang out? Just hang out. Yep, just a bunch of friends and we like getting the attention of lots of pictures. Oh, you guys have, is this your first first yeah. time doing the Destiny cosplay? Yeah, this, yeah. this is our first time doing our three-man strike team. Yeah. He and I did it at Yomacon and we did a couple videos, did a couple shoots, and uh, we had a lot of fun. Now does that character carry over to any part of your real life? Did you love his character, like his fight style? Did you learn some of that? Yeah, actually I, um, because of playing Tekken I learned some Taekwondo, some uh, kickboxing. Pretty much, I just any fighting move I can see in the game that I can learn to mimic, I study. Is nice. there like one, one or two moves that you could show us? Um, if we step back. <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> how do you know the uh, spider that Eddie Gordon does when he uh, has his uh, legs yeah. over his shoulders? I can do that one. All right. So uh, for the uh, spider, what you do? Essentially, put your hands behind like this. You do it. You lift up. That is amazing. I can see now why you didn't do Tiger because doing that in like a, you know. Yeah, having the, uh, <laughs> the bell bottoms in the front yeah. would definitely be a little tougher. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Flawless execution. Awesome. Thanks. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, man. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, have fun this weekend. I definitely Thanks, will. Man. You guys have a great time. Keep Thanks. doing what you're doing. <laughs> thank you.